How does it feel to wake up next to a person you don't love? To be kissed by a person you don't love? To sleep with a person you don't love? You know, how does it feel to go on a vacation to Dubai with a person you don't love? He can literally get away with anything, including cheating. He can cheat with as many women as 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 he wants, as long as the ring is is worn by me. And at the end, when he says sorry, I'm getting a trip in Dubai. Shamin said, um, "I don't care how many women he sleeps with, as long as I wake up in Dubai and cry in a Lamborghini." Men can handle it when women cheat on them, and yet it's it's glorified when they cheat. I mean, you've talked about polygamy and everything. I mean, if you are a woman and a man is luring you with his money, wait, wait, he's luring you with his money. He's saying to you, if if you narrate it well, he's literally saying to you that without money, I can't. I can I can I can I can't get you. And then at the same time if you say yes, then you are definitely saying that yes, I'm ready to be anything you want as long as you 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 show that you can afford me. Wow. I mean wow. you with the same level of respect or the same way I treat money. If I treat money as an object and I go you through money, why would you complain? When I treat you like one, because I mean, honestly, I use an object to gain you. It's women, most of the women cheat. When a woman cheat, it's, it's actually out of emotions. Like she's emotionally attached to the man that she's cheating with. So now here's a man that she's married to. She's not even emotionally attached to that man yeah, to begin with. Point. And then... Now, at the same time, there's this man that is that she's emotionally attached to. I mean, what kind of a marriage? Where is the, 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 the serenity there? Where is the sacredness of, of what a marriage is supposed to represent? It's what a nation of broken men because they married a a woman that loved them for their money. Now, now the money is free? gone. The love is gone. May I please? Something that is rare these days. We don't have a woman that is uh, that is uh, ready to, to bear her fair share in life with the same man that she claims to be her husband. She, she only sees him as an ATM, as a means to, to, to get up there. Because she can't do that. She has surrendered herself that I can't do it on my own. I need this man to get to a certain level. Majority times, especially on social media, people rejoice when a black woman marries a white person. They say, go girl, you are getting back the land. <laughs> they say, go girl, you're getting back the land. <laughs> you see, it's 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 hard when now uh, people are finding a joke in it, you know, and when people think that it's a good cause. But I also want us to look at this. In short, you are naming all these problems. So after naming all these problems, wait, wait, wait. You are naming all these problems after naming all of them combined. You are simply saying prostitution. It's not prostitution. Just... It is a mutual agreement. This is what I am bringing onto the table. And this is what you're going to offer me. Yes, for me, Lord. Well, South Africa, we've got a lot of beautiful ladies here. But the problem is, this glorified prostitution that is said, uh, I'm a slay queen. Hey, slay queen is a low-key prostitute word. Hey, I'm a body. Hey, what to at Instagram? But that's a slow, low-key prostitute. Anything.
prostitution, it doesn't mean that you had to be sexually involved. For the fact that you are selling nudes, you are still part and parcel of the prostitution gang. There is a famous quote that clearly states that surviving is winning. Whatever it takes, survive. As long as you do not go out there and harm and take a life. Here is another shocking revelation. A research conducted by News24, it found that people who are married for money, they did the research amongst, obviously an estimation, out of 10 women who married their men for money, nine out of them, though they've been married for years, but this nine out of ten, still they don't love their husband. Remember, they married them for money. Which, blame me if you want to blame me, but I can tell you this. I believe that that's where cheating starts. Because imagine kissing a man you don't love. Every day you have to sleep with a man you don't love. Mind you, you are married to a person you don't love. I've got two stories here. In fact, we have two stories to talk about. But, Charmaine... What do you have to say about this? Speak for yourself. What's your take? <laughs> Married for money. I mean, that sounds so wrong, like to a very large extent. Why would a, a woman in her common sense, in her normal senses, marry a man that she doesn't love for money and stay with that very same man for years and years? Are you, are you disputing that it happens or you are saying, though it happens, but it is wrong? What exactly are you saying? I am generally saying that it happens and it's very, very, very wrong. We have a very um, high skyrocketed statistics of divorces. And we also have like statistics of, you know, um, scams because apparently... It's, it's, it's for the money. People are after money now. There's no longer love in the world that we're living in. And it's being proven by, by women that are just marrying for money. That is so... That's deception. Okay. Um, we, I, we have two articles that we're going to be talking about today. Uh, there was an article released by News24 on the 2nd of August, 2022. And then there's another one that was released by the same, uh, same media house on the 4th of April, 2012. Guess what it says. The one released on the 4th of April, 2012, it says marrying for money, right? And the one released on the 2nd of, of August, uh, 2022, it says, I married my husband for his money. <laughs> Mr. Willie. I know. You see... Um when it comes to such situations, I'd like to believe would see um, it is a an investment. It is also a tool used to tackle poverty, because on the very first article that we are going to dive into uh, from News Twenty Four, you know, there is a portion that says uh, by this lady O Malani, you know, where she says Ugutkona. I grew to love him. But before she grew to love him, what was the main cause for him, uh, for her to actually say, I grew to love him? She went in it for financial stability. As we quote her words, it says, it felt nice to have someone look after me and not have to eat two minute noodles every night. So we see that this is a way in our tough economy. This is a way of as well of fighting poverty and securing the bag. Charmaine, do you do you concur with this idea of marrying somebody for money? Mind you, I've just shared with you research that says uh, many of women who are married to men who are married the, who marry this man for money, most of them they after years, still testify that I don't love this man. What's your take? Let's start with the article, I married my husband for money. Let's go through the facts that you have prepared in that article. 
Okay, let me just highlight for you what uh, Melanie was saying. So Melanie met her husband when she was uh, 28 years old, right? Um, I, I just highlighted whereby it, it's saying that she was happy with going on dates and being spoiled by him until he asked to become exclusive. <laughs> and then I also highlighted whereby she said it felt nice to have someone look after me and not have to eat two minutes noodle every night, she says. Women of today, lazy to cook. Okay, I'm coming back to that. And um, I also uh, highlighted where it, it says that the, the when he said he loved her, she responded, I love you too. In her head and in her heart, it was, it, it was saying, you take care of me and I'm grateful kind of way. That's the love that she was apparently expressing. And she goes on to say that he supports me emotionally and financially. She does not leave the financially part out. <laughs> and then again, she highlights that the money was a big reason to marry him. Then at the later stage, she fell in love. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's bring it back. She was happy going out on dates and everything. The money is 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 what kept her in that relationship. We're talking about glorified prostitution here. Doing something because because of you getting remuneration for it, you getting paid. She was literally this this so-called husband of hers now was literally her job that she was getting money for. Like she was literally getting money to just love. We're talking about um but what what do we call uh, um love love for rent she was uh, renting out love and <laughs> oh, and she did not talk about CBD. yes she did not talk about compatibility whether they were compatible or, or 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 anything she just talked about him having money yet he proclaimed that he he professed that he loved her but her she was definitely sure i love your money and and that's what's keeping me here. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I love the points that you are raising. Now, I want you, Mr. Willie, show me facts. Something that you have noticed, noted from the very same article released on the 2nd of August, 2022, the heading says, I married my husband for his money. Right. Now, she has noted very interesting points to say. Uh, what she has found very disturbing is that the very reason why she's with the, this man, the highlighted thing is the money, 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 money. Well, you know, uh, Mr. Bongani, when Oshamain speaks, she speaks on the hate. She speaks on the bad part of this. You see, because for every dark there is the light. And what is the light in this whole story? The light in this story comes here where she says, Wuti, the money was a big reason to marry him. Yes. But I also knew he was good for me. I knew I had a friend for life, if nothing else. This is a person with a conscience who at first saw nothing but an opportunity at a financially stable life. And of which there is nothing wrong with that. Because this was an exchange. When we are having two individuals coming together, uh, joining hands, you know, they exchange. Because right now, what is recorded in this particular story is, is what the lady was benefiting from the relationship. We are not even reading about if whether the guy was miserable or not. Because it's not there. If he was miserable, it was something that she was going to uh, note. But instead, she says, she knew that she had a friend. Quoting her, I knew I had a friend for life. Meaning that the guy as well was well taken care of and he was taking care of her. It was an exchange that they ended up finding common ground. She found things and aspects that she loved about him just as much as he found aspects she loved. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. I'll give you something, Shamin. You know, you 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 label this as 
I, I like the way you tackle it. You say women are, are saying, I am renting my love to you, mm-hmm. right? But what happened if, or what happened on the day that the money is not there to rent the love? Because if the love, if you are renting my apartment, do I keep a tenant that cannot pay the rent going forward? Tell me something about that. I mean, definitely not. Um, the the love that is being put out to to for rent here, once that rent is finished, I'm telling you, she will fly out. She will literally fly out, not even walk out. She will fly out of that relationship <laughs> because... Because the root cause, the foundation of the relationship is the money, right? You stay in an apartment that you can afford, that you are paying for. The minute you you can't afford paying for that apartment, do you think that (laughs) they will be merciful enough to let you stay for free? It doesn't work like that. This uh, this sounds more, it, 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 it just sounds more like a job than, than, than literal marriage because we've lost They've, they've actually, I mean, this world has lost a sense of, 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 of marriage. Wait, this was just, we quoted, going down the, the article, actually, I would like to quote somebody that met a very unfortunate experience. I mean, it talks about, he made me feel guilty for everything. We're talking about Dorsaga Nomza here, who was uh, married to a man, again, for his money. And listen to the unfortunate side. Isn't it on Melanie's story? She ended up loving him. But listen to to, to Nomzama's story. It says, I did love him, but I was also seeing someone else at the time who, who I had stronger feelings for. And now is her husband. Told me to choose and he said he could look after me and I would want for nothing. That's literally her admitting that because of money, because of the love of money, she's literally willing to jump from one man to another one as long as he's richer than the previous one. She's not even looking at the character, whether that that, that husband of hers is is building her character, Mm. is refining her character, like in any way possible, whether he's abusive or anything, she's not even... I mean, if you read... This 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 story is, is is very very painful. But let me give you a minute to comment on that one because it sounds more like they are running a business instead of a marriage. Yes, you know you know you said some you're raising a very important point here. The important point that actually I'm realizing here is what is the definition of a prostitute? Well, if you go to if you visit dictionary. Oxford Dishtar, it will tell you. A definition of a prostitute, it is when a person sleeps with an, an, another individual or enters into a relationship with another individual with an intention of getting financial rewards. That is prostitution. Irregardless of how many people you sleep with, because a lot of people will think that a prostitute is a person who is sleeping with multiple pe- people. Uh-uh. You may... You may have one person whom you claim is your boyfriend, but if the the intention is to get financial gain, you are a prostitute. It doesn't matter. Even if you are married to one person, if the the reason for you to marry that person is for financial gain, you are a prostitute. Full period. Um... Let me ask you a question. Having done through this, uh, look, having gone through this first story, you have read the story, right? Don't you think it creates reasons for people to cheat? Because imagine she is with somebody that she doesn't love. Don't you think a reason for cheating is already created there? When you say that a reason for, for cheating has already been created, you also seem to forget an important aspect in this whole um, uh, agreement. It's it's an arrangement, actually. When you're saying that um, you are now linking this to prostitution, understand that these two individuals are bringing certain value towards amongst each other. What value are they bringing? The guy has got the money. 
to flex around that lady. How did she see you? This guy has money because he was willing to spend it on her. He is willing to pay for whatever services that she is offering. And she is willing to offer services in exchange of a better lifestyle. Because definitely she is not happy with the one that she, she is currently living. And someone might bring up the, 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 um, the notion of let her get a job. What job is she going to get when this person cries about being from an unfortunate background? When this person cries about being one of the statistics in this country of unemployment, what are we subjecting this individual to? When you're saying that you want to judge her based on the decisions she is making on securing the bag through marriage, of which it is a thing that is not even wrong. When we look at uh, the beginning of time, you know, you know, no, no, yes, it's not wrong. When we look at the beginning of time, uh, you get to understand that. Marriage was not associated with love. It was associated with consent. These two people have given consent to be together and give whatever it is that they have to offer towards this marriage, which is the value. If the woman in this marriage has decided, you know what? I am going to give you my body. You give me the world. And when you come, when you come back from work, you will find the house clean. You will fi find a meal, you know, nice, ready, and hot. But on a Saturday, all I want is for you to say, baby, Naiman, take whatever amount that I, uh, I am giving you. Go give it to Mamekai. Your mom needs this money. Take this. Take that. You are secure. You are, you are ensuring that you are not a victim of being a criminal okay. by having someone love you. Eventually, ev eventually, love grows because you spend time with this person. Spending time with somebody actually leads you to developing feelings. So, what you just what you just described right now is called a, a boss and a servant relationship. I mean, your boss pays you to do certain work, and My and and, and right now, wait, right now, what you just described. Now the wife is offering her bodies, offering her services and everything. That's that's all she can offer. Why 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 is it now isn't marriage supposed to be partnership? It's supposed to be a partnership, right? So why is there somebody that is subject to the other and is offering her services and 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 all that well that is not even done out of love? That's a boss and a servant relationship cuz at the end of the day Looking at the very same article about Nomzam, listen to this part. She said that I grew up quite poor and while I had a job, a good job, I was also living paycheck to paycheck and supporting my family at the same time. I thought that if I married this man, I wouldn't have to worry as much. My family also added some pressure as they wanted me to marry a successful, wealthy man. I mean... The family also thought that if she, being poor as she is, if she marries a wealthy man, she will make it in life. That's that's scamming. That is scamming at its best. And also, it's 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 also saying that it's it's like the parents are saying there's nothing wrong with losing your individuality. There is nothing wrong with losing your mental health as long as that man is able to, to, to provide and, and pay for literally everything that we don't have in this house. At, at whose cost are you marrying that man without loving him? Because at the end of the day, he will buy you the luxurious car. But there's, there's, there's going to be a man that is broke, that does not have literally anything and you could still, as a woman, a woman is capable of loving a man that literally has nothing. Now that is love that we're talking about. She will now it 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 it, it 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 actually makes her to cheat, to to go with that luxurious car, go cheat with a man that literally has nothing. Why? Because she's trying to fill that void of love. She doesn't love that man. She loves the money. Okay. 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 Um. You know what? Let's entertain your question, yes. but I want, to, I want us to move into the next point. What's your question right. to Charmaine? My question to Charmaine is, why do you think we have got less women on the streets 
and more men sleeping on the streets because women have got something to offer more valuable than a man in exchange for money and for a better life do you do you do, wait do you do you agree or you disagree with the concept or you first want the definition of what is it that they got to offer which men generally we don't have maybe it's a question she wants to know so when i cl cl uh, put some clarity on that a man naturally has sympathy towards a woman in need when a woman is in need majority of men will want to stand up and come to her aid but at what cost at an exchange remember everything is 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 a give and they give that's how this world works when you put out the example of a boss and a servant when a boss and a servant come together they ensure which corner whatever it is that brings them together succeed okay okay you know you know what let's look at this now because you are for this women who are securing their back okay fine but i want us to interrogate this are we then not creating a recipe for disaster in that we since we agree with this prostitution that is currently happening are we not saying then uh, we condone the cheating because come to think of it how does it feel i want us to stick to cheating now how does it feel to wake up next to a person you don't love to be kissed by a person you don't love to sleep with a person you don't love you know, how does it feel to go on a vacation to Dubai with a person you don't love? You know deep down in your heart that I don't love this person. Despite everything that this person is offering, the fact is, the fact remains, I don't love this person. How do you feel? Don't you think, wait, I want to stick here. Don't you think that this is what is most likely to happen? Um, he, Look, she's going to find a man. There's this broke guy that she's probably going to love with her all of her heart but currently she's with a guy who can afford the life she wants to live not that she loves the guy please not the word she doesn't love the guy but the guy can afford her a lifestyle she wants to live then there's this broke guy who can afford who cannot afford these things but she loves her don't you think that that creates cheating Charmaine? Um, it, it does actually create cheating. I mean, in the Bible, it says that the love of money is the root of all evil. If you want to know what is evil, hey, 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 hey. if you have, if you can do anything, literally anything and everything for money to a point whereby you even marry a guy that you don't love, he's going to, you're allowing the man to objectify you, to treat you like an object, to treat you like an asset instead of a human being. And once he does that, even if he cheats on you, I mean, we hear women that says he might cheat on me, he might beat me. Increasing the statistics of gender-based violence, you are raising broken children that are, you know, where a mother is being abused and, and the mother is saying that I would rather cry in, 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 in Dubai. Dubai. Like, we've heard women that says, let him cheat, let him do all the, 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 the nonsense and everything. I mean, you are throwing away the, the, the self-respect as well. You're saying that I don't have self-respect for myself. Like he can literally yeah, get away. I mean, he, he can literally get away with anything, including cheating. He can cheat with as many women as, as, as he wants, as long as the ring is, is worn by me. And at the end, when he says, sorry, I'm getting a trip in Dubai, your mental health is compromised. Wait, wait a minute. You know, he, she's raising a very important point that I want us to interrogate. Uh, do you know that the level of cheating in this country that's, I, I know a lot of people think that men, uh, uh, look, the cheating is men. It's always associated with men. Yeah. But if you read the second, the, second, the second article, right? Let's go to the second article released on the 4th of April, 2024, Marrying for Money. There's a heading, right? You, the first page, just down below, uh, down there, it says that more than one in three women cheat because it continues to say because they don't value commitment 
So there's no reason for these women to cheat. They don't cheat because there's a reason. Unlike this delusional concept that we've always been fed that women cheat for a reason because there's a reason, there's something they're not getting at home. But here, a research as conducted by News24, it says that, the survey they conducted, it says that these people cheat because they don't value commitment. One out of three. Do, do, do you don't know how high is that stats when they say one out of three women, they cheat deliberately. Cheating is in their blood. Let's, for a moment, interrogate this. Um, a man can easily get away with cheating because, I mean, um, come on, it gets glorified when it comes to us, right? But if you're a woman and you're a cheater, definitely. <laughs> Let me start with you, Willie. I mean, now, you know, when we touch on the basis of um, a woman cheating, uh, majority times, you know, that comes when she's cheating on a man that, as Susha Min said, um, I don't care how many women he sleeps with as long as I wake up in Dubai and cry in a Lamborghini. Such a relationship, it is clear to the public eye, or what it's what you call an open relationship. So in an open relationship, you permit each other to have entanglement. Now, when you are associating, um, saying that women marry for money, you know, and all that, and criticizing them, what do you say about women in polygamy? Are you also now painting them under the same brush, saying that they are prostituting themselves? Are you now discrediting the fact that these women, majority of them, you know, they do have their own money, and then they decide, you know, to go into these, um, you know, share, have one man, and as like, you know, five, four women, are you painting them under the same brush or what? And then when we also look at... Um, this article, you know, whereby um, the lady states that, you know, she became a side chick from, from a side chick to a wifey. Why? Because she saw this guy uh, flashing his credit card and buy expensive bottles. You must tell us, but good. Now I'm reading on this article because we are following here. We've got this. Take you guys back to the very first one uh, by News24 on the topic, on the last one, on the topic, I was a side chick and became wifey. Um, yes, it's on um, two, uh, 2nd of August 2022. 2nd of August 2022. Yes, yes, the very last uh, article, yes. Yes, so she, you know, she says that um, she saw this guy flashing his credit card, buying expensive bottles. You know, clearly he was showing evidence that I can afford the lifestyle you want. Come to me. I give you money. And you give me whatever it is that you have to offer. We live happy and peaceful. That is why she went from side chick to wifey. Because they had an, a mutual agreement. Wait, before I give you. Shaman, before, before you, you, you tell him about the polygamy one. I want to ask you a question. You know, something comes into my mind. He's saying she was happy to be a side chick. Then she got promoted. Isn't it going back to the issue of cheating? This woman was cheating on someone, backstepping because she knew there was a wife. She was very comfortable to a point that their wife got eliminated. She got promoted. Tell me something about it. Um, don't you think men has got privileges in terms of cheating? Because less is said about that man who's cheating on his wife. But if a wife, if a woman were to do the same thing, oh, hell will broke loose, I'm telling you. Um, okay. They're getting away with the with the cheating. I, I'm I'm so wondering, like I ask myself all the time that why is it so painful when a man find out I mean we've had cases, right, whereby women that cheated on their partners were shot dead that are buried right now. Like men can handle it when women cheat on them. And yet it's it's glorified when they cheat. I mean, you've talked about polygamy and everything. I mean, if you're a woman and a man is luring you with his money. Wait, wait, wait. he's luring you with his money. He's saying to you, if, if you narrate it well, he's literally saying to you that without money, I can't 
I can I can I can I can't get you. And then at the same time, if you say yes, then you are definitely saying that yes, I'm ready to be anything you want as long as you 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 show that you can afford me. Wow. I mean, wow. you you you're not even thinking that what if this person like how did you get these riches? Because what if this person is using me for rituals? You don't even care. You just jump in and be like, eh, that's a black cat? Wow. <laughs> so, you wait. So, don't you know, you know, you know you're raising a very important point to say, uh, you, you know what I'm saying here? Do, look, do you think women have got the right to tell us about them being objectified? Because right there, in the stories that we are reading here, we are being told about people who... Well, look, who are, who are after an object, money is an object, who are after material success. So, why would you complain if I treat you the same? Look, if I treat you with the same level of respect or the same way I treat money, if I treat money as an object and I got you through money, why would you complain when I treat you like one? Because, I mean, honestly, I use an object to gain you. Exactly. You'll be you'll be signing off to to slavery. The last part of uh, the last sentence to this article, the 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 second article that we have here, it says, "If you marry for money, you will earn every cent." It means it's it's work that you are signing up for. It's not marriage. There's no partnership there. You sweat for literally every cent that you get. That is slavery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before, before, before. I want you to answer me something. I had a privilege of talking to many different prostitutes, right? So I asked them, how do you guys do this business? Listen to this revelation. They say, it's hard to do this business. Because here, you can't just live with somebody you don't love. Uso Panji. They've got to be, that's why they were saying, they were, they were saying that's why some of them are, 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 look, are on drugs. That's why some of them are on substance. They were like, imagine as a woman, you, there's a guy who wants to sleep with you now to, for cash. You have, want to sleep with this person. And they're saying, it, it, look, it's very difficult psychologically to an extent that they need substance to drag their mind and then drag their body to this man. Now imagine... You are sober. You have to sleep with the person you don't love. On a day-to-day -day basis. How do you... How, what type of a torture are you subjecting yourself into? Every single day. You wake up next to a person you don't love. Where is the difference between the prostitute on the street who needs to drag their mind? I'm tempted to go back to you, Charmaine. Wait a minute. As a woman... Don't you think it's now going to be difficult? Every day you wake up with the man and then there's a man you love. Don't you think a window for cheating is already created? Charmaine, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Charmaine. I mean, most definitely. Um, on, 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 on my level, thinking as a woman, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I don't know how to put it put this woman in my head a, a woman that has to sleep with a man that she calls her husband yet she does not have any romantic feelings whatsoever for the guy and she's just there for money for me it's a it's a very crazy thought because as a woman myself i can't imagine myself being with somebody that i don't love yet there's somebody that i i i, I strongly love you get what i'm saying that's 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 deception for me. It's it's so crooked to 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 a point whereby, like, how much do you love money? Do you love money to a point whereby you can <laughs> you can tolerate literally like anything from the guy? Like you are not even compatible. There's nothing you like about the guy. Like there's just everything that turns you off. Yet for the sake of money because you are an ambitious woman you, you the cost of living is too high you're willing to 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 be in jail to suffer for the rest of your living days yo i know okay now i'm 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 i'm, 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 I'm I, I want to concur with you we create an environment that is conducive for us to cheat take us through don't you think you are you are subjecting yourself a torture just imagine 
the women are into when they are saying they must go and secure their back. Yes. But just imagine, because yeah, this man, he wants to come for another one. Yeah. Ha, how much of a torture is yeah. that one? Bashad, I want you to understand one thing. It's your big job. When you are saying good corner, how do you endure? Finally, welcome. Welcome to the board. You just say it jobby job. Thank you. When you are saying, how and where do they get the strength to do this on a regular basis? Ask yourself this. Where do you draw the strength to wake up on a Monday from a tired weekend to go and soldier on on the battlefield each and every single day? Where do you draw the strength when you are telling um, these, when you are asking this question as to how are they able to do this? Ask yourself, how is a soldier in Afghanistan able to wake up every single day, a soldier in Ukraine able to wake up every single day and face the battle straightforward? These guys are on a mission. When you are on a mission, nothing, no amount of discomfort or miscomfort, whatever English word there is there to, 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 uh, to explain the uncomfortability. There is no amount of words that can deviate you from achieving your goals. When you have got a goal set for you, you are going to see it through. Irregardless of the rain, storm, whatever weather, you will soldier on. And that's what they have. They have got the ability to soldier on. They are not weak. People who are weak do not get what they want. People who are strong-willed, who are able to endure the greatest of difficulties, are the ones that have things go well for them in life. They face challenges, yes, but they get what they want. And that is one of the most important things. When you are a person, an individual who knows what you want, you will get that thing. Okay, wait, before I give you, um, you, know, you know what troubles me with what he says? He likens people who are doing two different things. Do you know the, 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 the enjoyment and the peace and uh, the joy that comes with the fact that I've worked hard for this uh, house is mine. I paid it from my own. Do you know the joy that comes with owning this thing, knowing that nobody's going to come and claim it as his or hers? Do you know the joy? Do you know the joy of buying a grocery with your own man, even if it's your last man? You are likening two different people. Where now you depend on a man you don't love, on a man you hate. And the reason you hate the man is because he asks you to do something. He wants you to be intimate with him. Yet you know exactly that you hate this person. I'm sure Lome Suzak knew that twice times two because I'm what, what a torture are you getting yourself into, Shaman? Yeah, I mean, as you were speaking, as you were speaking, I'm like, at what cost are you doing all those things for as a woman sitting in that uh, in that marriage? Because at the end of the day, you you living a life whereby there's a void that you 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 also want to fulfill. As human beings, we all need love. We need that support and care from the person that we love. And when we don't get that, I mean, statistics says women, most of the women cheat. When a woman cheats, it's it's actually out of emotions. Like she's emotionally attached to the man that she's cheating with. So now here's a man that she's married to. She's not even emotionally attached to that man mm, to begin with. Point. And then now at the same time, there's this man that is that she's emotionally attached to. I mean, what kind of a marriage? Where is the, 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 the serenity there? Where is the sacredness of, of what a marriage is supposed to represent? It's, it, it, just, it just ruins the whole picture, the whole point of marriage. Money is something that comes and goes. And, 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 and now, like yesterday, I had a story about a man that, that was so rich, that had so many businesses. And you know what broke him? Right now he's limping where he is. And what broke him and what, what brought him to a hospital is the fact that his wife left him when his riches left him. 
what a nation of broken men because they married a, a woman that loved them for their money. Now, now the money is bring, gone. The love is gone. May I please bring you back to the article published on the 4th of April, 2012 by um, the very same uh, newsletter, News24, where it says, um, for centuries, this was all women had to trade to get ahead in life. Today, we all know there are certain women in positions, certain positions where they had to get there. When you spoke about, I worked hard for this, I worked hard for this, what do you say about them that had to actually sleep with somebody in order to go uh, to the higher table? They had to do what it takes. And if you are standing here and saying that you criticize them on what basis are you criticizing them because it's it's here on this article for centuries this is what women had to go to wait 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 wait, wait. you know what is here is what she's saying she's saying that for centuries but f so far as i know so far so far as i study history centuries ago there were people who were loving one another so the definition of for centuries, she speaks of those prostitutes back then who also wanted to get things quicker. But not to say, I don't want us to confuse this record to say, ah, real love started existing now. In fact, now real love is depleting. Back in the days, real love used to exist. Charmaine, before I come back to you. I mean, I, I think I've already said a mouthful about, about, about this, this matter. It still doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't at all. Like, it literally doesn't make sense. No matter how much you try to, to justify it, Oksalayo, a, a normal human being created by God himself. I mean, when, when Adam looked at Eve, when she was brought to him he said bone of my bone flesh of my flesh there was love there you get what i'm saying which we we really get i mean i come on <laughs> <laughs> which is which is um something that is rare these days we don't have a woman that is uh, that is uh, ready to to bear her fair share in life with the same man that she claims to be her husband she she only sees him as an ATM, as a means to, to, to get up there. Because she can't do that. She has surrendered herself that I can't do it on my own. I need this man to get to a certain level. Which is one, laziness. And two, it's also signing up to slavery. And also it's 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 just speaking volumes of how much women nowadays are willing to do anything and everything for money which is the most dangerous thing because what are they teaching young women what are they teaching kids you get what i'm saying okay i'm gonna give you now uh before we close i, I can't see you pending so you know i want to show a little bit of hypocrisy you know majority times especially on social media people rejoice when a black woman marries a white person they say go girl you are getting back the land. <laughs> they say, go oh, girl, you're getting back the land. <laughs> you see, it's 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 hide. When now uh, people are finding a joke in it, you know, and when people think that it's a good cause. But I also want us to look at this. If, especially today in South Africa, if you do not have um, medical aid, insurance, pension fund, employment. You are utterly helpless. If you do not have a source of income, you are utterly helpless. If you are from a poor background, we all know our hospitals are flooded. No doctors, not enough doctors. Let me not say no doctors, not enough doctors to tend to each and every single person. So what are we subjecting women who do not have the, the means to, 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 to take care of themselves? What are we subjecting them to? Okay, okay. In short... You are naming all these problems. So after naming all these problems, wait, wait, wait. You are naming all these problems. After naming all of them, 
combine. You are simply saying prostitution. It's not prostitution. You just say it is a mutual agreement. This is what I am bringing onto the table. And this is what you're going to offer me. It's for me, Lord. Well, I, prostitution doesn't say that it must not be an agreement. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen, listen. Prostitution doesn't remove the fact that it's consensual. Remember that you can still get arrested for raping a prostitute. So what I'm trying to show you is that just because it's a prostitute, it doesn't remove that she has to consent to eat. So don't therefore make consensual as if, oh, just because there's consensual, there's a relationship. Consent to something does not equate to relationship or marriage or for love. Prostitute consent to eat because there's money to eat. But I'm going to put it at the end. Well, we have reached the end of the episode. <laughs> for the bills, Otando does not take you on vacation. When you are both in love and broke, you do not uh, go further in this life. And more people fall out of love and they divorce. You know, you know, ah, come on, man. Come on, come on. Young ladies, go to school, get educated. Stop thinking that uh, um, your, 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 your situation, if you are currently poor, stop thinking oh, your situation won't change. It can change at any minute. It doesn't need for you to marry somebody that is rich and, and, and sell, sell your individuality, lose your individuality to that man. Because at the end of the day, your mental health is, is, is at, at, at the cost. It's at the cost of your mental health. You increase the statistics of gender-based violence because now you are willing to do anything and everything for that money. There is nothing that comes for free, especially if if he's financing you for literally everything. So be a hard worker. Go get your own. Do your own thing. If 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 literally, like situation would eventually change. Okay, I like what you are saying. We need to close. I want to give you your closing marks. Talk to your people. That's your camera. Tell them whether when you advocate that they should go and prostitute themselves, sell their bodies, beautiful bodies. South Africa, we've got a lot of beautiful ladies here. But the problem is this glorified prostitution that is said, uh, I'm a slay queen. Hey, slay queen is a low key prostitute word. Hey, I'm a body. Hey, but to at Instagram, but that's a slow, low key prostitute. Anything. When a, when a person goes on Instagram and they are shooting out, they are shoot, taking pictures with their pro, pro, local, with their. By the way, on Instagram, there's this thing that is happening, right? You must check most celebrities. They go on Instagram and post naked pictures. Some they even had their tight way, grab them as high as they can to show you how it is measured. You know what I'm saying? Prostitution, it doesn't mean that you had to be sexually involved. For the fact that you are selling nudes, you are still part and parcel of the prostitution gang. But closing marks, please, um, Mel. Well, you know, for me, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. There is a famous quote that clearly states that surviving is winning. Whatever it takes, survive. As long as you do not go out there and harm and take a life. Don't be don't let people judge you as to saying which you when a prostitute, you 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 do not deserve, you know, this and that. Those very same people who are judging you, they're not going to stand up and say we're going to pay for your hospital bills. They're not going to stand up and say that no, we are going to pay for your utilities. We're not they, they will not give you money to buy groceries. They are just going to give you a nice talk. This is wrong. Don't do it. Don't do it. And then leave you with all those problems. Now, when you come back and steal from them, why did you leave all these other opportunities? Whilst you still cannot get a job, they're not going to offer you that job. They're only going to talk to you and tell you it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. Whatever it takes, kids, survive. Okay. Shamin, your closing remarks, please. 
my closing remarks still remains marrying someone for my ma- marrying f- someone for money is definitely wrong there is no way i would definitely support it from a woman's point of view it's so wrong rather marry a man that is um i'm not i'm not promoting marrying a man that is broke as well yo don't ever quote me wrong <laughs> rather marry a man that has ambitions that is building towards something that you can actually build something with it's it's actually helpful cuz now if you ever have an an argument or any predicament then you are able to say we've built 1 2 and 3 together you able to actually show the value and the worth that you've put in the effort and energy that you put in into the relationship instead of finding a man that has already skyrocketed and made it in life well he's going to treat you like how he wants you can just get in and be like no you don't have to attend that meeting in dubai while he's like if i can afford who are you to tell me that so <laughs> don't ever don't ever put in your, yourself in a position where by you are told by by somebody that is supposed to be your partner in 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 this life journey marriage is not it's not for jokes say hey. it's it's a very it's a very deep topic you shouldn't just choose anyhow or any 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 what you want rather ask from god whom whom to marry rather than choosing on your own. Okay. Uh guys, Mina, I want you guys to think of it this way. Life is short, but there's no need for you to shorten it even further. Um there's no need for you to create unnecessary stress for yourself. It cannot be that people who have walked the path are telling you don't do it. And when you think you are the smartest one. I've read the reports where people are saying This man will make you pay for each and every cent. I want you to think of it this way. Who do you think this man are dumb? Because some of you you think that you're going to go to for his farmers and get those men. Do you think they are dumb? For the fact that that man has accumulated wealth, it shows sense of intelligence. So when now you think that just because you've got a nice beautiful body with a private part of a female obviously, Now he's going to give you everything on a silver plate because of your body without you having to pay for it. And I want you to think of it this way as well. If you are with a person, what if for instance you I, I I'm I'm wealth right or I've got money and you marry me for what I have. I want to ask you a question. Do you think like in your wildest dream you find me I'm there. Everything is there. Do you think in your wildest dream when you come and when I marry you, you will have uh, you can tell me not to attend a party in Dubai, a meeting in Dubai just because I've got you. Remember how I built this thing without you. I used to go to attend those places even when you are no longer comfortable, right? You feel that I'm going to cheat in Dubai. But remember You were not there when I was building. I used to go to Dubai. I'm not going to stop it now just because of your private part. Hi. <laughs> And uh, other, the other way to look at it is that when you give him your pri- when you okay so you're going to lose him with your private part and your body, right? There's another one. The hotter than you. <laughs> But if you're a black person, listen to this one. There's going to be white Chinese, there's going to be white person who's more hotter than you and he's going to say ah i now got a white person why don't i test the white person now and then you're out there's going to be a chinese a well beautiful looking asian what what chinese he will be charmed he's gone remember the way you you get you got him is the way you're going to lose him so give yourselves for free make that money it's fine but just know you will pay for it